How to create your own fashion collection When starting sketching for a new collection, first all you have to do is make your research. This means you should carefully study all the aspects for your source of inspiration. Articles, photo collage, images found on Pinterest or Google, books, photos, taken in trips or museums, they all should be placed in a journal because later on they will be part of the design process. The design journal is a creative tool that can be accessed anytime. It is an active source of inspiration for any designer and it serves as a creative kit. These are some inspiring images I found in a book about African art and added them to my journal. I photocopied some pages that will help me explain you how one should think when it comes to creativity. First of all, and the simplest way, is to get inspired by the shape. See the exterior shape of this African sculpture and decompose it into details. See the geometric forms, the patterns, the colors, the textures and so on. I will show you each time what inspired me for a particular area in the costume. Don't think if the result will be a dress, a pullover, a skirt or a coat. Simply don't. Just let it flow and feel the image that gives you the inspiration. This is what I do. Tools also can inspire you. For example, this thick marker I am using for the lower part of the outfit. Just play and experiment. As you already noticed, I am using different kind of lines and surfaces to create diversity. The image should look interesting in any part you will look. Imagine that each part of your drawing could be a poster hanged on a wall. This is the limit of the creativity and how you should think your costume. Don't be afraid to be spectacular, the sky is the limit. You will have enough time later to reduce it all and to make your outfit look wearable. For the second sketch, I will get the inspiration from the decorative triangles and also from the texture in the lower part of the African sculpture. I like Copic markers especially because they are very wet and they inspire my hand to freely move all over the page. When a marker is dry, the lines will be edgy and rigid as you will see. I also like the brush edge that allows me to have fine lines and also be flexible in hand. My second favorite is Posca white markers. I just love them because they leave beautiful strong lines on dark surfaces like this one. When using markers, Make sure to have a spare paper beneath. The markers will go through white sheet of paper and they might ruin your drawings underneath. Thank you for watching and please subscribe just to make sure you will be the first one to see my new video.